Welcome back everybody. My name's Evan and this is Country View Acres and a week or so ago we ended up having a tree cut down and we had it pretty much entirely turned into wood chips. Now we've already used up a great portion of the wood chips so we've used up pretty close to half of the pile already and today we're going to go ahead and see if we can get the rest of these wood chips uh, used up. We've got plenty of places here on the homestead that we can use them so let's get to work. So I recently had a subscriber suggest using the wood chips in the pig pen. Said that the wood chips would actually knock the smell of the pigs down. So I tried this before our cookout, our 4th of July cookout. I put three bucket loads of wood chips in here. I spread them all around. And basically I spread them from basically just over here by their, their hut all the way out to their feeder. This whole area was just mud. That they had already rooted this whole area up and i just basically covered that up and it made a huge difference in the smell it was amazing uh, it almost didn't even smell like a pig pen anymore so i brought a little bit more out today filling in this side over here a little bit but i'm just basically covering up the areas that they've completely rooted up back in this area over here there's still grass uh, and stuff back there they haven't completely destroyed that yet but um just covering all the places that they've worked up all the muddy areas, um, that pretty much knocked the smell down completely. Now, uh, back over here by their waterer, they have created a wallow. So they, they bite on their waterer and they let the water run out. And they've got a nice muddy spot that they like to bathe in over there. I'm not filling in their wallow. They can still get in there and cool down, but I'm just filling in the rest of the areas that they've rooted up with wood chips. And man, big difference on smell. So if you got pigs, I think the wood chips in the pig pen was a very good suggestion. So the next place to uh, use the wood chips is going to be in the barn. So wood chips will work great for animal bedding. Um, a lot of people will use wood chips or wood shavings uh, for bedding for their livestock. Now, I personally, I'm using the wood chips in the chicken coop. So I've spread out in the chicken coop here, I've spread out maybe about only about two inches thick of wood shavings. And um, just to give them something to be able to scratch through and just to use as a bedding here in the uh, chicken coop. It's not considered probably a deep bedding, being only two inches thick. But chicken 
uh, their droppings have a very high nitrogen content and that high nitrogen helps break down wood chips. So by the time we scoop out these wood chips, they will already be pretty much half composted. And uh, you know, they're already on their way into turning into really good compost or soil to use in the garden later. So I'm specifically using uh, the wood chips in the chicken coop for bedding, but it can be used uh, for bedding for all types of livestock. So the next place that we're going to use the wood chips is going to be the barnyard. So the barnyard area, the more that it gets animal traffic and the more animals you have, the quicker your vegetation in the barnyard is going to go away. And then it's going to turn to dirt. And uh, every time that rains, that's going to be mud. And it's going to get soft. It's going to get all tracked up. So a lot of people in their barnyards will eventually just spread out some gravel or something that will help prevent it from just turning into mud and give you something nice to walk on. So it's, it's, but if you can't afford gravel, then you can probably maybe afford wood chips because wood chips you can either get for free or you can maybe get at a low cost. So we're going to get take these wood chips and we're going to cover up this dirt area over here. Now these wood chips will give us a nice walking surface. It'll be a temporary fix. This ain't going to last long. These wood chips will compost over the next 6 to 12 months. And then you would have to add wood chips again or finally maybe put gravel or something down. But uh, for a temporary fix, uh, wood chips should work fine uh, to cover this up. Uh, get rid of muddy areas and give us a nice walking path here in the barnyard. So I took a couple buckets full of wood chips and I spread them from the gate over to the barnyard. So now at least we have a way we can walk through the barnyard without getting our feet all muddy. So let's go ahead. We'll move to the next place to put our wood chips. So the next thing I ended up using wood chips for was for mulch. So mulch is kind of the obvious thing that you use wood chips for. So I used it out here in our orchard. We've got 18 fruit trees out here and uh, we just used it for mulch around the trees. That's going to help kind of retain some moisture uh, around the area of the tree. And um, one thing that I do need to do is when you use mulch around a tree you don't want it to actually touch the trunk of the tree so i'm gonna have to go back i'm gonna pull that mulch i'm just gonna kind of pull it away from the the trunk of the tree just to make sure that none of the uh, none of that mulch is actually touching the tree now one thing i like about this mulch is is since it come from came from my tree came from a tree trimmer this was actually soft maple so this will actually break down quicker this will probably turn into compost uh slowly over the next year or two and um the the mulch you buy in a store that's made out of trees that don't want to rot so that it's made to last so this will slowly turn into compost and then i'll just have to keep on adding wood chips but uh, i think people can look at that two different ways um, i look at that as over time i'm adding compost so that's a good thing i've done this for several years so there's other several layers of composted wood chips underneath already some people will say you know they will argue the point that these wood chips will rob nitrogen from the soil and rob it from your tree. So there's a plus or minus there, but in my case, I'm happy just to have these wood chips to put on my orchard. So one other thing you can use uh, wood chips for is you can make your own compost with wood chips. You can make your own compost pile. So what you do is you take fresh green grass clippings. You want, you want nice green grass and you need to mix that with your 
your wood chips. I'm not sure what the exact ratio is, but you're going to mix quite a bit of grass with your wood chips. You're going to mix that up, wet it down, put it in a pile, and then that will that will heat up and start composting. And you can make your own compost that you can use in your garden uh, by using uh, wood chips and the grass clippings from your yard. So me, uh, I honestly am probably going to use the rest of my wood chips as pathways. Um, so I've got uh, a garden area that I'm kind of working on here. And um, so around some of my raised beds in this garden, I'm probably going to end up putting wood chips as pathways in that area and to keep the wood or to keep the weeds down uh, from you all have to use quite a bit of actual wood chips so I'll probably end up having to use probably close to four inches of wood chips fairly thick deep pathway to keep the uh, the weeds down so here's my remaining wood chips I actually don't have that much left I probably got I probably got about six bucket loads with the tractor left so I'm gonna probably use that here in the garden and then any remaining stuff I may still use on the walk out of my basement. See, I can't grow grass down there. I've not had any luck. Um, there's no topsoil down there, so the grass does not want to grow. So I may just add wood chips. Two reasons. One, if I can't have grass, I'd rather not have mud. So I'd rather walk on wood chips and mud. Two, is over the next year or so, this will break down turn into compost and then I will have some kind of some organic material on top and it will kind of help create topsoil for me on top of that so eventually even though while these wood chips are fresh it won't be good but uh, over time this will help me probably grow grass in the future once this composts so that's probably so these are the ways that I'm using wood chips here on my property um, I know that there's several different ways you can use wood chips. If you guys are using wood chips in a different way, post those in the comments below and share those with all of us. I know that there is, is just dozens and dozens of ways that you can use wood chips. And so the ones that I'm doing, that's, that's just a few of the possibilities out there that you could use wood chips for. So anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.